Peace, love and life family. It's your girl, Morgan Renee Myers, tuning in with you all real quickly to go over my latest grocery store shop. So let me give y'all the background on this story. So I um have been self-employed since like February of this year. I just been crocheting, watching the baby, vending, living in the house I living in. That's how I've been accruing my money. But um prior to that, I had applied for food stamps in like 2018 sometime. And I was honest about the work I was doing at the time and my rent and all of that. And I only got like $15 a month. So that ended in like June or July or something like that. So I was like, I'm not about to reapply. Trump in office, that's probably the only reason I'm getting $15 a month. So I've been going all this damn year with like not just eating here and there or eating a, or just eating bad stuff late at night or whatever just being real frugal because i already don't be eating eating like that and when i do it'd be like late at night or it'd be bad stuff i don't need so long story short a few days ago i was speaking with um a sister named mama nia who i want to be my therapist and i was telling her well i don't you know she was like well get your health insurance through medicaid go online and apply i had already went by the food stamp office um to get the on the slip to apply online because I was gonna renew and see you know take a chance. So I had kept stalling, hadn't did it. So when Mama Nia was like, you know, go online for your Medicare, I was able to do two birds one stone. And the people from DSS called me and was like, yeah, you know, just verifying some information. And honey, they hooked the girl up and it wasn't fifteen dollars. Okay, so I said that to say this is why you will see the smorgasbord board that I have before me because otherwise I don't be putting all this um money into no vegan stuff i just will keep it real simple with like some fruits and veggies and even that can get a little extensive peace brother mark so let me show y'all what i got so i went to two different places i went to this international a um it's not asian but it's an international market here in greensboro north carolina called super g and i also went to whole food so at super g i spent about 70 dollars um on this stuff and over at uh, Whole Foods, my goal was to not go over 40, and I think I went up to like 50, 60. So let me just show you what I got, okay, and why. So to start off, I got some chopped greens just so that, you know, less time for me to have to chop them. Um, some of this stuff is for convenience purposes. A lot of this stuff is for convenient, convenience purposes, which is why I got what I got because it's just me. I will be cooking for, you know, friends and stuff like that, but they're also going to be... Um, bringing stuff along but a lot of this stuff will last me personally for some time so anyways back to it got some collards so you know i could saute put my little veggie bouillon do my thing i got some mint leaves um to put in my water along with my ginger and lemon that i already have at the house i got some pure cane sugar now some of this stuff was not stuff that i would normally buy but um some of y'all have been following me know that i've been on a 21 day vegan challenge which ended on monday but i'm still keeping it strong just because i feel good i don't really have a need for meat at the moment i do still crave seafood particularly fish but i'm good so this was um for one of the recipes the dessert recipes that the sister has in the group so i got some pure cane sugar these are nori seaweed wraps that you know you would use for um sushi i'm not going to be using it for that i'm using it for when i'm making recipes that i want to have like a a seafood crabby type flavor so for example i'm going to be mixing um some jackfruit and some chickpeas to make crab cakes so i'll add a little bit of those nori wraps to give it a, a fishy type of taste i got coconut chips not because i like them because i'm not a fan of coconuts but um when i make my smoothie bowls i could blend up some fruit i could add some of these um i could add some chia seeds i could add some almonds whatever i could add all of that in like a smoothie bowl so that's what that's for chia seeds they are great to go in smoothies or on top of stuff just one of those i don't i don't know if it's fiber or what properties it has i just know it's good for you i got some sun-dried tomatoes um excuse me these um i actually like these because i can cut them up i could put them in a salad i could you know saute them in some sauce but i got these because one of the recipes for the homemade marinara sauce she uses um she uses roma tomatoes she used sun drop because roma tomatoes she said creates a lot of water so when you put this in a blender it's gonna be watery so she also added sun-dried tomatoes because it kind of helped it thicken up so i got that to 
make a homemade marinara sauce. I also got some elbow noodles so that I can make some vegan mac and cheese, which is going to just consist of, um, after you boil these or whatever you put, you put almond milk, um, what else? You put almond milk, you put some vegan cheese and some spices and you stir it up, let it get, you know, chunky like cheese. And then you spread it over your noodles, you layer it. And put it in the oven and bake it and call it a day. You can also make cheese out of cashews and all of that. But I'm going to go that route. Um, I also got some raisins. Not because I particularly eat them a lot. But I figured, you know, it would be good to have to snack on or put in smoothies or make stuff sweet or whatever. I got some dry cranberries. I do like those. So that's really for me to snack on. I got some pitted dates now. This is the first time ever in my life that I will be having a date. But I got it because... It's one of the substitutes for sweeteners that they speak of. They speak of these and they speak of agave nectar, which I got over here at Whole Foods. That was like four, five dollars, which is why I'm glad I had the stamps on it because I'm telling you half of this shit would not have been on the table. I got some powdered sugar, not because I know what to do with it, but because in my vegan group, there was some um, recipes, some dessert recipes that call for powdered sugar. Now this, I didn't even go in there for this, but I bought it. Um... When I was on my challenge and my cycle was coming on, I was, I think I wasn't feeling too hot this month. Um, oh, Sina, well, why you uh, ask vegan cheese? Like, girl, you know, they make everything vegan, honey. Um, everything that is not vegan, they got a substitute for. But this is what people make sorrel out of, which is like a, a Caribbean type drink. Um, I think it's also known as like raspberry leaf or hibiscus. Um, and so I use this in a tea and it actually tastes really good. Um, and I'm not really a tea drinker, but it tastes really kind of like, kind of like cranberries a little bit. Um, and I could chew these after, you know, I drink. So I bought this big old bag cause it was a reasonable price. It'll last me. And you can also just add it, you know, dry to your smoothie. So it's like, I'm getting extra nutrients without really trying. Um, I saw this and just thought it was cool. Some mango coconut sauce. And the ingredients seem pretty fair, so I don't know what I'm going to use this on or for, but come on camera. But we're going to see. Now, this avocado oil, I already have um, a good amount of grapeseed oil left, but it was such a good deal. It was like between 5 and $7 for this big old thing. Um, so when I run out of grapeseed oil, I'll be good to go. Um, so what they advocated for during the vegan challenge was the only oils we should consume were like... I believe olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, and grapeseed oil. They were saying, like, I don't even think, like, those were the, the best. Like, you could also do sunflower or safflower, but definitely no vegetable oil. Um, so, yeah, I got some rub sage. I'm going to get all the rest of my other ones from Dollar Tree because, uh, yeah. I got me, as soon as you walk into that on store, they had all this garlic for, like, a good price. So, I got that. Um, I got some green tomatoes. I'm going to make me some fried green tomatoes. I could also eat these raw. Just cut them up. Put them in a salad. Got some limes to go in my water and to um, make different dressings with. Got the Roma tomatoes. Um, sometimes I just like having sandwiches. I need to go by Walmart for a few other items that was a little cheaper. Um, like some pineapples and some avocados and stuff. But I make a sandwich with just like some tomatoes and onions and avocado and stuff on it. And now that I got my vegan aids, I can hook the sandwich up. So moving on now there's a brother on my facebook page brother Cinna. he has been talking about we need to stay the hell away from mushrooms because they are fungus they create spores they are not um they can grow in the anus they can grow anywhere it is not a fruit or vegetable it serves no nutritious purpose but i am not there yet and i have heard a great deal of the pleasures of oyster mushrooms and i've had some before by chef april canna and they were delicious and she follows dr sabi so I guess he has uh, approved of king oyster mushrooms as being alkaline. So I got these to try them out. Now, Brother Center also advocates for getting the baby bananas instead of regular big bananas. So that's what I got. And I also got uh, the baby reds. They taste just like the banana. They just way smaller. Um, got me some clementines. Or what are these? Mandarins. Excuse me. Got me a bunch of those. Got me a little crayon reader. I'm still, you know, I'm weaning myself, y'all. I'm weaning. So, uh, what else? 
Got some jackfruit in a can. Now, the thing I like about the international market is that they do have a variety. So, whereas I usually get my jackfruit from Earth Fair uh, for about $4 a can, which I think might be a little smaller than this. They can might only be 16 ounces. This is 20. But on the aisle, they have like so many different kinds. They have the young green jackfruit and brine. They have it in water. They have the actual, this is kind of like... The part of the jackfruit, when you open it, it really looks like the outskirts of it because the jackfruit is like really yellow, um, the part, the sweet part that you would eat. So they even have that as an option. Um, and then they had all kind of other stuff like this. This is called a banana blossom. I think another word for it might be artichoke heart. I'm not sure. I think I might be getting that mixed up. But I seen a, um, a sister on YouTube do a tutorial on how to make these be like mock fish. So that's why I got it so that I can try it because it has like a a, a fleshy, fishy type texture to it. So we're going to see about that. I don't know why I got this coconut cream. I think one of the recipes called for it in the vegan group. So pretty much I didn't make any of the recipes during the um, <laughs> 21 day vegan challenge because I was being frugal and just barely eating and fasting and drinking juice and stuff. So when it stamps it honey oh let me take y'all to this this is um oh what's this called um oh lord it's slipping me start with an m um oh god it's slipping my mind malaga malanga malaga i think that's how you say it i just happened upon a video on youtube where the sister made this and it looked like um mashed potatoes so I want to try something new and you know, I want to internationally travel. So that's my way of being overseas in my kitchen. All right. Now over here, that was all $70 worth. That was all at the international market. So some of these things will dwindle fast, like the mint and the collards, but a lot of this other stuff, cause this will be stuff that I'm just eating. It's going to stick around for a little while. Now over here, I needed an egg replacer. So, like, when I fry these, I don't have eggs. So, I needed an egg replacer. Or if you're baking certain stuff that call for eggs, all you do is mix this stuff with water. And you get pretty much the consistency of an egg. So, to hold your stuff together. I also got um, the plant-based cheese. Now, the thing about vegan cheese like this, it does not really melt. It says melts and stretches. I haven't tried this brand, but in general... It don't really be melting like that and it'll make you pissed off so you use this sparingly and that's why you use other stuff like your cashews um your nuts but nuts can melt can make like a um a milk or cheese like consistency it's all about what you add to it whether you're adding nutritional yeast whether you're adding different flavors or whatever so yeah um for the mac and cheese I'm only going to put a little bit of this in with the almond milk and some spices and get it to make like a cheese sauce. And then when it bakes, it'll be delectable. And from what I've seen sister do, it looks so good. Um, i got a cucumber, some celery. This is going to go in my crab cakes that I'm going to make. And I'm also going to end up juicing a stalk or two just because I hate celery. Um, let me change my words. I am learning to appreciate different types of vegetables that I've not been accustomed to before. So when I was on my juice cleanse, when um, the season first changed, speaking of which, winter solstice is about to come up. Hmm. So I'll probably be on another juice cleanse. But anyways, um, I like to put those in my juice because they just good for you. Oh, you good. <laughs> so they um, it's, it's healthy for you. I don't like it, but it's good for you. Um, this is healthy ass bread that Whole Foods has. Grain and seed sandwich bread. Um... I got a similar bread uh, earlier, a few weeks ago. It had these same type of ingredients in it, and it was about like five, six dollars. So yeah, now this right here, Satan. I actually kind of I've heard about it before, and she mentioned it in a group. Um, her name is Akila McQueen. I keep saying her, her Akila McQueen, and her husband Neptune. Um. They are amazing. They have followed her Instagram, A Vegan's Paradise. But anyway, she was making a um a hoagie, like a cheesesteak hoagie, and she had seitan in it. And I've heard about it before. I've heard about it like as chicken and steak substitutes, and like it really be looking like meat when people prepare it. And I was trying to do some research today. I really still don't understand, but I think it's um 
it was like it's like wheat gluten wheat or something like that so if you can't have gluten this wouldn't be for you let's read back real quick well, wait let's read the instructions ingredients water vital wheat gluten soy sauce nutritional yeast gender rice bran oil rice vinegar Contains soy and wheat, yeah. Oh, shoot, I didn't even see that. Manufacturing the faculty that processes eggs, milk, tree nuts, and coconut. I'm straight tripping. When you're um, vegan, you're supposed to look, and usually they have it in bold. That's probably why I ain't noticed it, because usually the allergy stuff is in bold. So I just went with it. Actually, I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't even look on this one. But um, if you're really trying to be a stickler about it, you want to stay away from these products now because i'm not out here eating whole cheese and milk if i do get something that's made in a factory like that i'm just gonna chalk it up and pray and call it a day keep it moving now these are the little yogurt alternatives my nephew that i watch his mom bring sends them over here and me and him be fighting over it no let me stop but they are hitting so and i'm not even really a yogurt person but they pretty i like sweet stuff so this is a nice little midday snack so I usually, his mom usually sends strawberry and banana and raspberry. So I, I got a different kind, excuse me. And I haven't, she sends this kind of so delicious. I haven't had 365. So try that out. This is, uh, if I'm about to dial, let me speed this up. This is a vegan sour cream. Now I don't do tofu. There was a lot of tofu options in both the um, Asian market and in um, Whole Foods. But I'm just, I don't, I don't like the texture or something. And I don't even think I'm one of them people that's like real picky about textures. But tofu just don't sit well in my spirit. So this is the imitation sour cream. As you can see, it ain't no dairy in it. So I'm interested to see what this going to turn out like. Got some Earth Balance butter. I'm, um, I was looking. Sometimes the Caucasians can be so helpful. Even when you're not asking them to be. I was uh, shopping for this and I was just reading instructions between this and another one because this one says original, the other one said organic. And the only thing different was that the organic contains soy and this one does not. But this lady walked up on me. She was like, yeah, what are you, what are you judging? I'm just like, I'm just comparing. I'm just reading. I'm trying to find a vegan butter. And she went on a whole spiel about what her and her husband like and don't like. And I was like, okay, lady, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. So I got me some mustard to, you know, go on my sandwiches. Sometimes I be wanting mustard and I'll be wanting. This doesn't have high fructose corn syrup in it. Do it. Let's see. It shouldn't. If I read it good. Yep. Nope. It doesn't. Which is what I was trying to stay away from. But it's producing a faculty that processes eggs. So if you're going to be a stickler vegan, then don't, you don't want to. I got me some strawberry spread. Some of the stuff I was just getting to get. Like, this ain't even nothing I done had in the cabinet. Like, but I do like a little... I could have more uh, breakfast options. I really don't be wanting breakfast. I just, like, will eat a smoothie or some fruit or something. And I get hungry after, like, two. All right, my camera ain't focusing, y'all. Okay. So, I got some agave. Organic light agave. Um, I do like honey, and I will still eat honey. Um... Because even though it comes from bees, uh, I don't know. I still, I would rock with honey. But I just got a gave for the fact of having another sweetener, which I may, which this might last me a while if these dates do what they're supposed to do and keep stuff sweet. I'm going to add these to the, the smoothies and the desserts and stuff. Like there's a vegan cheesecake I'm going to make, which consists of cashews and, um, um, I guess you could add these for sweetener. Or, oh, this was going to be a part of the crust. This and the almonds and some other stuff. So, I may be able to hold on to this for a while. Got this vegan A's. I was trying to find the kind on the aisle. There's this uh, brand called Just Mayo, but I cannot find it. So, this was like 4 or $5 in the cold section. Follow your heart, vegan A's. But I'm going to try to see what it's hitting on. I got some liquid smoke. Not because I've ever used it or know what to do with it, but because in the vegan group, she used this in some recipe. And um, from the looks of it, it's something that you put on like your meats and stuff when you want to kind of have like a, a smoky type flavoring. You don't need a lot, apparently. And last but not least, got some almond milk. I used to get like the Walmart brand, but I was at Whole Foods, so I just copped it. So yeah, this is uh pretty much how my shopping experience went. So I got, you know, got some staple stuff. Now let me show y'all what's already in the cabinet. Oh. Okay. 
Let's see. So I got some monk fruit, which my homegirl Africa gave me when I was up in DC. It's like a, uh, it's from an actual fruit. Google it. But it tastes just like sugar, like some brown sugar or something. Um, when I was on the vegan challenge, um, I had made some spilt flour tortillas um with my walnut meat tacos so i had ran out so i found this at earth fair you had to scoop it yourself i got my onions this is the bread that i told y'all i had got organic thin sliced 22 grains um i got some paint himalaya sea salt i have some of these almonds that i'm gonna make some stuff with i cannot eat them plain because they hurt my throat this is one of the type of cereals i get i think i got this from harris teeter um this and another kind cascadian farm they're really good because i like granola type stuff i got some sweet potatoes i need to put to use so i'll probably make a little vegan sweet potato pie i got some chickpeas aka garbanzo beans i'm i can flip this so many ways y'all i'm gonna make this with some jackfruit and make some um crab cakes out of it imitation crab cakes i'm gonna make some um hummus out of it not out of this one can but um hummus there um there i just saw a chickpea meatball recipe that you can add marinara sauce over so you could really turn some of this stuff out you just got to get creative being vegan or vegetarian or eating plant-based or whatever um it really just challenges you damn i had rigor tony i bought elbow noodles thinking i had elbow noodles so i could have more elbow noodles this mac and cheese is going to look all kinds of crazy. Damn it. All right, I might just have to make a little bit and a little pan. Anyways, moving on. I got some navy beans. You could also, if you're not too prideful or bougie, um, you can go to like pantries in your area. And in Greensboro, there's more than one, which I didn't realize. I thought Urban Ministry was the only one. But you can go to different pantries. And you can even request that, you know, they only give you um you know non-dairy or non-meat products and they can and they will and i've seen some stuff i've gone before and got some stuff that i see now was in whole food so that's nice that people donate healthy stuff got some remnants of some black eyed peas up in here some of the stuff my mom got from a pantry she'd be going with her clients and just racking up on shit um so i got some green beans of course you know canned is not the best but it's better than nothing Especially when you broke. Got some black beans. I'm pretty sure I'm going to make some black bean burgers out of these. That's what the egg replacer will be good for. Um, another thing, because that egg replacer, probably was about $5, $6. Um, you could use flaxseed powder and water. And it does the same thing as far as keeping your stuff together. Um, I got corn. Mo green beans. Got some breadcrumbs back there. That's what I'm going to use to season my... Um, my fried green tomatoes with all right y'all showing out because we on camera i got a whole bunch of tea that i don't be using so i seen some tea i wanted to try up in there it was like a, a relaxing vanilla spice one and some other stuff i was like nope let me finish while i got it home so i had bought this when i was on the juice cleanse um because it's supposed to help you with uh your bowels but i'm also on what the hell cameron get your focus on now the people can't see you sheesh okay um so yeah it's supposed to help you with your bowel movements but i got a, a detox a seven day detox from a good friend of mine um brother ie of i am and um what else i got in here some couscous some stuff my mama gave me she didn't want some cranberry sauce my mortar and pestle when i'm chopping up stuff uh this is what i put my uh my avocado in sometimes different spices and stuff what else i got some wild rice I was going to make this for a taco night, but the direction said you got to boil it for an hour. What's this back here? So farina. I think this is like cream of wheat. Some other stuff my mama gave me. So this is stuff that I'm going to be getting, you know, rid of, eating up. Excuse me, y'all. Hold on. Because I really don't need a lot and I'm not going to be cooking every day. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the grapeseed oil. Sorry, I had y'all down in the dark. This is the grapeseed oil. I got. Let's see how big it is compared to the... Honey, who's going to help me put this stuff up? Okay. Yeah, so... Okay. Good little amount. 
So this is why it would be cool. Like if you want to just try some plant-based stuff, get with a friend so y'all can go have on the groceries and then y'all could just be practicing stuff together because this can get costly. <sighs> but I will also say, I don't want to deter y'all, it's no more costly than... It's costly if you're doing it in addition to buying a bunch of meat. So take a week out the month or a few days out the month where you decide I'm going to do more plant-based options and spend your money on that instead of the meat that week. It'll, it'll balance out. What the hell? I'm taking that cane sugar back. Show damn is. I already had some that my mama had gave me. Mm-hmm. Let's see. And this was a cheap one, too, because they had some in there that was like $7, $8. I think this one was only like 2 or 3 That's why I got it. But I don't need this much damn cane sugar. I ain't making that many desserts. Pure cane sugar. Pure cane sugar. All natural great taste. It's Go Green Label certified. Let's see what's in the ingredients that make it so different. Because if it ain't none, honey, it's going bad. 100% cane sugar right there. Okay, let's see what this got to say. Hold your mule. Cane sugar. That's all it say. Chai. Okay, put her back in the bag. Hmm. Now, is that really saving any money if I'm driving all the way back on the other side of town just to return that one thing? Let me find some other stuff to return that I ain't really need. I thought I had cane sugar, but I ain't know. Then I got... I don't have these all year. They might need to be thrown away. Some pitted plums. I feel like these will do the same thing as the dates. Get right now so the people can see you. Yeah, I feel like these would be the uh, same equivalency of sweetness as the dates. So we might try them out. This is um something healthy my mama gave me too. Some organic buckwheat soba noodles. I tried this during my um, vegan challenge. And they came out alright. My friend Elise came over. And we added some of the um, remaining walnut meat that I had from the taco night I did the night before. And I put some tomato sauce over it. And they came out all good. Um, they kind of get a little... They're a little thinner. Let me show you. And they were kind of like... I might have had too much water in it. Because it, it was like it just absorbed it. Oven ready lasagna. I'm thinking that so next all next week I'm making plant based meals um every week so people can come over and try and stuff and take home a plate. They just gotta pitch in, you know, get something from the stove and they can take a plate home. But um I think I instead of making more walnut meat tacos, which I still might do because they was hitting, I was thinking in the car I wanted to make a lasagna because I love lasagna. And I'm gonna practice the mac and cheese tomorrow. So if I get this cheese recipe down pat like I'm supposed to, baby, we making some vegan lasagna. Okay. Oh, this is my little, you know, black people. We like to save Tupperware, honey. So that's what that is. So yeah, that's um pretty much. Wait a minute, let me show you what's in the refrigerator. Real quick, real quizzing. Oh, honey, I do not have Megan's knees. Alright, got Morgan's knees. Let's see what's in here. Oh, got some remnants of some almond milk left. I've been, um, I got some cabbage. I had, I cooked one earlier in the week with some garbanzo beans. They was hitting. I spiced them up. I like to, like, kind of roast mine on the stove, my garbanzo beans. <clears throat> and I actually have some more garbanzo beans from when I went to my sister Monier's house from Copper Vibrations. Oh, I was supposed to go over there today. What's it? No, tomorrow. Wednesday. No, they're going to be leaving town. Damn it. Okay. Sorry, y'all. My brain. Got me some ginger. Put that in my water. Oh, I forgot I had that one because I've been squirting this one in a ginger piece. Got some apples back there that I am going to juice tomorrow. Now, these are some pita chips that I accidentally made. I was making the spelt flour tortillas and they're not coming out good. And so this is what came of it. And as you can see, they're really like pita chips. So I'm saving these to reheat and scoop some salsa with. Got some lit. Oh, I forgot I had this fresh corn. It still good. Oh, it look a little dry. Might have to throw that out. I ain't know, I ain't know what to do with it. Shoot. What's in here? Because it ain't butter. Alright now. What the? 
Oh. Why is it only? Oh, I was about to say, what the hell? I'm a little tomato. I be trying to keep some of this stuff out of plastic bags. All right. I need a camera, girl. Got my onions up in here. Some lens, some little baby potatoes I need to do something with. Okay. And then, what's up here now? Some fish. This, look, this fish was given to me a few months ago, but I was doing the juice cleanse and then I was on the vegan cleanse, so I never got around to making it. I'm going to make that thing. Got a little bit of berry medley. Now, I will say, um, the, the fruit medleys at Whole Foods, they didn't really compare to Walmart, so it wasn't as much in there, and it was much more pricey, so I will be getting, um, like my frozen fruit, I'll get some of the vegetables and fruits from Walmart, like the, uh, the avocados, the cucumbers, the pineapples, those were all, uh, cheaper prices than they were at Whole Foods and, um, and at the international market. So, that's what I'm going to be doing with that. But, this kind of pretty much concludes. Uh, let me show y'all this. This, I got, uh, this is what I roll my, my spilt flour stuff out on when I'm making tortillas. So, once I get it wet and doughy, I bought this during the vegan challenge. I feel like a real cook. So, that is one of the beautiful things, though, because I already, um, I didn't really grow up uh, experiencing a lot of different spices and flavors and stuff. So, I will say that's one thing that plant-based is forcing me to do is teaching me to get outside the box and experience new flavors. And I took time today. What time is it right now? It's like 10 o'clock. I literally left the house at like 5.30 and just got back. However long I've been on this live is how long I've been home because I took my time to shop um in both of those stores probably took me about an hour or two in each store because i'm looking up and down at owls to see you know what they got what flavors you know just seeing all kind of stuff that i'm just ignorant to especially in that international market man you see all kind of stuff like that you just never see all kind of fruits and vegetables and seasonings and it was really cool so i'm gonna go put this stuff up but let me give y'all one last review before i go Collards, mint. This has so many names. Um, sorrel, raspberry leaf, all of that. Um, coconut chips, chia seeds, sun-dried tomatoes, raisins, dried cranberries, dates. These are good sweeteners. Put them, you can put them in smoothies. Um, when you're making your plant-based vegan um, dessert treats, these are great for not just color but the sweetness. Powdered sugar, sage, garlic, mango coconut sauce avocado oil nori wraps if you want to give it that seafood type flavor you got the king oyster mushrooms i would definitely keep y'all posted on how that goes got your green tomato where my green tomato go oh I'm about to say honey might fry me up some of them tonight got your green jackfruit which look up this fruit this is how the extra jackfruit look and it's heavy them things about ooh, i can't even tell you anywhere from 20 to 50 pounds they heavy um and, and the actual fruit, it doesn't look like this. It's yellow and slimy. Um, and it puts you in mind a juicy fruit. Um, got your baby bananas, your red bananas, your Roma tomatoes, your limes. Got mandarins. Got cranberry. I'm going pull one out for my Aunt Ellie, who passed away earlier this year. She loved those things. Um, got yellow mustard. Agave. Vegan mayonnaise. Liquid smoke. Almond milk. Healthy ass bread. Um, grain and seed sandwich bread. Got everything you need in it. Got some vegan butter, vegan sour cream, vegan yogurt, seitan, vegan cheese. Now, let me tell y'all one more thing, too. Um, I ain't gonna say this is gonna be the first and last, but this is gonna be one of the first times and not the most often times that I shop like this because really one of my hangups um, with all this vegan stuff is like, I don't trust these industries. I know they lie to us about the meat and the fruits and stuff. I really don't trust them to be acting like this stuff don't have no dairy in it. Just because you tell me on a box that it doesn't, I don't necessarily believe it. So um, I really just got this stuff because it's, it's their comfortable transitional um, ingredients. So if I want 
the taste of some mayonnaise on my bread, I'm going to get the vegan A's. But eventually, my taste buds, if I keep up this diet and this lifestyle and I incorporate more healthy greens, I'm not even going to want to have a taste for that stuff either. So I'll eventually wean myself off. But because my food stands sit today, and I was excited about that. I just was trying out different stuff. So the next go around, come January, I'm going to be spending all that same amount on getting mostly fruits and veggies. Because like I said, um, a lot of the staple stuff will still be here. Or it's cheap enough that if I um, max out of my um, stamps in a short amount of time, I can go grab some um, a can of chickpeas. I can go grab, you know, and also even buying my beans bulk because of it. You know how to make some beans, man, y'all. I used to not know how. You soak them things overnight. You cook them. You season them just right. Oh, let me show y'all this uh, seasoning I got. It's a vegan, how you say it, bouillon cube. Um, instead of uh, like the beef or the chicken, I used it. Oh. Alright, don't be showing out. And it make like a little uh I don't know, it's just good, y'all. But I put that in my uh my black eyed peas and my pencils that I made straight from the bag, and they came out very, very good. What uh y'all need to follow Tabitha Brown. She's a vegan influencer. She's hilarious. She's from North Carolina, but she live in Cali. She's like, very good, very good. Yes, honey. It is very good. So alright, I'm about to go get my life, put this stuff up. Thank y'all for tuning in. Peace, love, and lights. Have a good night.